Welcome to the Window Wisdom Podcast, your guide to replacement windows and more. Hi, I'm your host, Ted Kirk, and this is episode 13. Today, we're going to be talking about automatic door opening systems. We have a system called AutoSlide. So today we're joined with Joe Castaguay. Joe is the VP of the North American Operations for AutoSlide. So this is a new product that we've brought on here at North Georgia Replacement Windows, and we're excited to have Joe aboard as our guest today. Welcome, Joe. Thanks for having me, Ted. So Joe, uh, you know, I introduced AutoSlide. Can you kind of tell our listeners what exactly is an AutoSlide system? Absolutely. Auto Slide is a automatic door system that can be installed on residential sliding doors to automate them. It works on both a single panel door and multi-panel doors and can be controlled through virtually any way you can imagine from motion sensor to remote control and has some pretty cool features in it as pet mode as well where you can convert your patio door into an automatic pet door. Wow, that sounds cool. So what led you guys to come up with this type of system? We have a sister company, Addis, ADIS, that's been around for 30 years that deals uh, strictly in commercial automation and always looking to expand our marketplace. We noticed there was nothing really existing in the residential spot. Uh, this was back in around uh, 2012. And so we developed AutoSide system to fill that void. And at the time, residential automation really wasn't being thought of um, and really hasn't been to the past two years when people have actually been introduced more to the smart home side of things with Alexa and Google. But uh, it was uh, good that we got a head start in it and kind of have made a name for ourselves in the residential marketplace with the uh, auto slide system. Well, you know, you mentioned a little bit about the applications. Let's talk about why somebody particularly would want one of these systems in their home. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, there's a few different reasons. Um, you know, always a good thing about a, a new product is that it solves an existing problem. The last thing you want to do is create something, a product, and then you're going to have to create a situation that the product fits into. We managed to solve some existing problems out there. One of those being accessibility purposes, ADA purposes, you know, people who are limited in their physical mobility, have a hard time opening doors. Uh, our system allows them to uh, actually automate and get out their uh, patio doors without assistance. Wow, that's, so that's that, perfect, man. We love helping people here, so I, I love to hear that. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we get so many uh, great call, calls and letters from, from customers, how it's uh, actually impacted their life for the better, which is great. You know, that's what puts smiles. That's why we do this, right, for, for our customers. Well, you, you know, you, that's exactly right. And you also mentioned something, you know, I, I know in my household, we consider our pet part of the family, and uh, you kind of mentioned that. Can you talk about the, uh, the pet feature that you mentioned? Yeah. Yeah, the pet mode was put in there initially as kind of a wow factor. We didn't really know how well it was going to take off, and it has actually <laughs> been one of the biggest selling points of our system. I mean, as, as you know, uh, people who have pets, they are basically part of the family. You know, it's like a, a, another child to them, so they'll do anything for their pets. And, you know, sometimes you got people who both husband, wife, no one's at home, dog stuck at home and they have to wait to the, you know, that they get back. Well, you know, with our system, you can convert that patio door over to a pet door. You can program it where the door opens just wide enough for that dog to go out, use a secure RFID tag that goes onto the collar. The door can lock uh, behind them. So you actually have a really secure pet door and allows your pet to go in and out of your patio door you know, when you're not home. So they can um, get back they, in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they can get back in. So you don't have to worry about your uh, loved one out there uh, looking at the glass, wondering when you're going to be home to get them back into that nice AC. <laughs> well, you know what? We love that that feature here because, you know, traditionally with pets, you either have to cut a hole in a door or you have to cut a hole in your wall and then you put in a, a system that uh, a door and another entry point that is an energy loss factor of your home. And, you know, also I've heard some stories where, uh, you know, people have actually climbed through them. So maybe even a security concern. Absolutely. Uh, both those are great points, especially from the uh, energy perspective, even the best of the traditional pet doors out there, you're going to have quite a bit of uh, thermal property loss going back and forth between that door 
especially if you have a larger dog door. And then that's, a, again, where the security comes into place. You know, if you have a large dog like a German Shepherd or a Lab, that hole is going to be big enough for a human to get through there as well. So you're opening yourself up to a security issue. And the nice thing about our system, it does not change the integrity of the door. You get the same thermal properties as if our system wasn't there. And with the RFID tag on the pet collar and our automatic locking uh, feature in our system provides you the most secure pet door out there. One thing I heard you say from a programming uh, perspective that I thought was pretty interesting is if I guess if you've got a little bitty chihuahua, you can have it open just a little bit. And then if you have a, a big uh, Great Dane or Mastiff or some, some type of dog <laughs> like that, and you can have it open a little bit bigger. So, so the door system does not have to fully open all the way. That's correct. You can reprogram it just wide enough for your pet. And so, you know, if you need to program it 10 inches for the Chihuahua or 20 inches for that Great Dane to get out, you can do that. And what's really nice is if you need to get out the door, you can just hit the convenient wall button right next to the door and the door will open up fully for you to get out. So you're not having to try to fit through a tiny little hole there. Cool. Well, um, you'd mentioned uh, an app and a smart home system. You know, can you speak to that just a little bit? Uh, I know people love to use their phones to do all types of things. And now it seems like uh, you can use your phone to open your door, which I can certainly envision some applications there. If you have somebody that's coming over to service something in your house or something along those lines. Uh, so how does that work? Do you guys have something that you can download and where do, you, where do they find that? Yeah, we have a uh, app for the smartphone or for your tablet that can control our system, both for uh, Android and uh, Apple phones, iOS systems. And inside the app, it provides you all the same functionality as you would get from manually controlling the system with a remote control or a wall button. It also allows you to actually program the system from the from your phone. So you know, if you have a tall door, you don't have to get up on top of the ladder to actually set the initial programming of the system. You actually do that right from our smart app, which is pretty cool. Um, but there's some pretty cool uh, additional things in there, like a notification system. It'll send you a notification if the door opens and closes. It will also keeps a log of when the door is opening and closing. So if you need to be aware of that, like if you want to see how often your pet's going in and out, you can go back and look and see the dates and times of your pet going in and out of the system. We actually are getting ready to launch a big update of our app here, probably in November this year, to include some additional aspects to it, including temporary keys for guests. We're going to add a uh, timing system. So if you want pet mode to be available between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., then switch out on pet mode. You'll be able to program that. And then getting into the whole smart home realm, we'll have a whole program of Alexa skill sets uh, pre-programmed that you can enable. So, you know, if you want to have 9 p.m., the door to open or lock lock all doors down at 9 p.m., you can do that um, right from a from your Alexa. So that's great. So it sounds like you're, you're about to integrate with all the, your favorite virtual assistants. So that, that's uh, pretty cool stuff. Given that, how secure is this product from, from break-ins? And I guess uh, from a physical standpoint, and also if, if you're integrating electronically or digitally from a computer hack. Uh, our stuff's pretty secure from a physical standpoint. It's a very high force to break the system, uh, break the lock component of the system. You most likely would actually damage or break your door before you actually would get the lock in our system to fail. Um, and we've had this system now in the marketplace, our auto slide system to the marketplace since 2014. And happy to say that we've had zero issues of anybody reporting a lock failing in our system. So that's, you know, that's great news. From a hacking perspective, we use pretty secure frequency with rolling code to help prevent somebody from trying to come by and randomly hack into your system. And then even looking into that, you know, one thing about us, we're always looking at how we can improve our system, improve our technology. And in conjunction with this new app update, we're actually going to be integrating some new Bluetooth technology into our system that will actually bring the security of the locking function even higher. Our partner, Unikey in Orlando, is the one that we partner with to help develop this Bluetooth and into our system. And they've actually, they have 13 patents surrounding just Bluetooth locking technology. And they are the only ones that have not had their technology hacked at these uh, annual hackathons. So 
I would have to say we have got some pretty secure uh, technology in our systems. Well, that that's cool. Well, what happens if it does break? What you know? What's the what's the warranty like on the the product? Uh, the warranty on the product is uh, is a two year warranty. That's on any manufacturing defects um, on the on the system. And then from a perspective, if something does go wrong, something does break, whether it be warranty or not, uh, we create our systems to be a very simple process, simple to install, simple to program, simple to use, simple to repair. Everything's very modulated. So if it's a matter of a motor, it's just as simple as a motor swap out. If it's an issue with the software, it's just as simple of a board swap out. And these, and these repairs can be done in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes. So very minimal work on the repair side. Um, from the maintenance side, there's really no maintenance on our systems needed. All you really need to do is just maintain your patio door tracks, make sure they're, you know, they're clean. There's no debris building up in there. The system will work as well as the door will allow it to. So, you know, if your rollers are bad, you're definitely going to need to replace your rollers. Our system can't do that for you. Well, and that's where we come in. Uh, obviously, we sell um, premium quality Infinity from Marvin fiberglass doors, and we install them on those doors. But, you know, folks are probably wondering, can this product be installed on existing doors or how does that work? You know, we offer this product uh, only in conjunction with our doors, but you know, what would you recommend on, on that side or how does the product function there? We designed our systems to be a universal fit so that there's no specific door profile or installation environment that it's required. We made it so that our system could adapt to pretty much any door. That being said, the issue with putting it on an older door is you don't know how that door is going to function. It may have bad rollers, the frame may be damaged, the track may be damaged. So if you were to just have someone go buy a system and put it on an existing door out there, it could work, it couldn't work. It's very important that you actually have an authorized auto slide dealer as your as yourselves come out there and assess the situation to make sure um, if it'll work and or if you need one of your fabulous uh, Marvin doors over there. So, so don't put lipstick on a pig, right? It, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to ask a question that, that probably a lot of people are wondering now is how much does a system like this cost? Where, where are you guys at in the market on this? Well, you weren't supposed to ask me that question, Chad. You know, it was all good up to this point here. <laughs> no, uh, going back to what I, what I had mentioned before about our simplicity thoughts on our systems with the installation and programming the entire process you know we wanted to develop a system that was not just for one percent of the market out there we wanted to develop a system that practically every homeowner could install on their door whether it be need base or something cool um, just looking at the automation in general from a commercial standpoint, you know, a sliding commercial automated door is going to run you at a very minimum of probably around $7,000 going up from there. And then you, you're kind of stuck with their set profiles because they actually have a set door system that their systems have to work with. From a residential aspect, there are a couple motors out there other than ours, but they are based off a commercial system. And so you again, you'll start. You're going to be looking at a minimum price of five thousand um, dollars, and that's just for the system. That doesn't include the installation cost or any of your accessories. You know, our systems are at a fraction of that cost, and our our dealers are definitely able to work with uh, the customers out there to make sure they can uh, meet the customer's needing and uh, affordability prices there. Well, and, I'll, and I'll chime in. We've actually uh, sold one of these to someone and the system came in at just under $2,000, you know, for the system itself added onto the door. And that was with installation. And I think one of the important things to realize for homeowners is that this system is very customizable. So depending on what you want to add to it, the size of your door, whether you know, the different access. I mean, you guys have motion sensors, pressure sensors, keypads, uh, pet tags. I mean, so there's a, there's a lot uh, that can go into it. So a lot of ways to customize your system that would obviously uh, affect the pricing at that point. Absolutely. It's uh, very customizable. There's no set standard of what you have to have or what you can have. You can have actually up to 15 different sensors uh, wirelessly programmed into our system. Um, I don't know if you ever need 15, but 
hey, if you want them, you can do it. Uh, and then one of our hottest selling sensors right now is is our hand wave sensor, you know, with the whole COVID thing going on and people looking to see how they can reduce uh, cross-contamination and touch points in their homes or offices. Uh, they're installing um, these hand wave sensors to get that touchless access uh, to rooms or to the outside. Well, appreciate you being here. I guess uh, one final question, anything, I know you guys are integrating with the virtual assistants. Um, these are working on sliding doors now. Is there potential to reach out to other doors or any new planned upgrades or products planned for the future for Modislide? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are actually launching a brand new swing door system, automated swing door system here in October of this year. Very slim lined system, low profile, designed specifically for a residential like commercial application where, you know, instead of having to use the bulky commercial automated you know, swing door system that's really overkill for a home. We basically took that technology, slimmed it down, uh, simple installation and simple programming, just like our auto slide system has all the same functionality of the auto slide system. And a couple extra cool things, like we'll have some integration with some smart locks, like a uh, quick sex Kiva lock, the August lock, uh, and a brand new lock coming out by Level Home of that integration too. So yep, we got that swing door launching and then we've got a few uh, new things on the horizon for the beginning of next year, including a system to automate a lift and slide system. Well, Joe, thanks for being here. Uh, we really appreciate you participating in our, our podcast. So maybe we'll have you on again after some of these additional upgrades come out, but just want to let our listeners know if we can help you with a automatic door opening system, you know, with a sliding door, uh, whether you have a pet application or just want to automate your home or have an ADA situation, this is a, a perfect system to do that. And um, we, we appreciate Joe being here answering some of these questions and, and look forward to this product really taking off for you. So good luck, Joe, and thanks again. Absolutely, Ted. Thank you for having me. We appreciate you listening today. And if you like the content you've heard, be sure to give us a rating or review. Join us next time for the next episode of Window Wisdom.